And we are in the kitchen with Chef Mike from Oak and Stone making something that I've tried to make before without much success. <laughs> so can you help us make it correctly? I will try. Okay. I will try. Okay. So um, we're going to be preparing stuffed green bell peppers. Mm -hmm. um, we need to start by cooking the beef. Okay. So we're going to start with a little bit of oil in I the just pan. Put it all in there. I'll go ahead and do it fairly slow so it like doesn't splash. Pound? This is about a pound and a half. Okay. And that's the stuff three peppers? This is going to stuff about six peppers six. all together. Okay. Yep. And then it just uh, just let it cook. Yep. We're going to let that cook and brown. Uh, while this is cooking, we can go ahead and put in our cheese. We have all some right. shredded cheese. And this is for our, our sauce. This kind is of. actually for the um, for the stuffing itself. Okay. So that that's marinara. So that's going to be red sauce. That's mm -hmm. going to be tomato mm -hmm. sauce. You can use any bottled sauce. So then we're going to three eggs. Three on the eggs. Rice. rice. Correct. This is rice that I've cooked three quarters of the way. I only took it three quarters of the way because I, I wanted to absorb all the flavor of uh, being inside the peppers. Three eggs. One. Oh, that's oh, chefing that's it up on a Monday. Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys didn't know that I can kind of cook on. Make me breakfast. <laughs> she has another talent. <laughs> I know. This is fun. And then you said uh, about a teaspoon. A pinch. Yep. Well, you got it stuck on your glove. Oh, I don't okay. want to miss She's, out on the oh red pepper. Gosh. She's on it. Yep. So I did salt, red pepper, So we got salt, we got crushed pepper. red pepper, black pepper, got some celery salt. It does concern me she's not measuring, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Steph, you're, you're not doing fine. anything. I know you're I'm fine. not. Steph, I'm, you need to help. No, I want her to own this. A lot more of this one. That is oregano, <laughs> correct. That's about a tablespoon of dried oregano. If you don't like it, that way you won't blame me. The recipes are more of a guide. See? That's, oh. how I, that's what I feel. Oh. They're more and of a guide. She doesn't use a spoon? No, you want to get in there and use your hands. Oh, wow. So let's pretend that this has been cooking for a bit and it's gotten nice and brown. We would add in our onions. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't we do those We would add in our first. garlic. Oh, oh wow. I would have done the onions first too, I Linda. Is that wrong? I want to brown the meat first. So it's not uh, really hard to brown the meat if you have the onions in there as well. I didn't know that. And then that. you would, if you overcook the onions, they would just get black and char. And then that's also garlic that. in there too, uh. right? Correct. So we have onions and garlic. Let's pretend this cooked for five or ten minutes. Um, you've thoroughly cooked the uh, beef, mm -hmm. and oh. then it, this would also be cooled down before yeah. you put it in because you don't want to cook the eggs. Oh, you want the, egg, you want the eggs to cook right. inside the peppers oh so it holds and binds together. I've been doing so many things wrong. That's why you have that. Yes. So we're Seriously. gonna say that that's all dried up. And then you make and then a big you just old mush. Mix it up. And then you mix it up. That's how you know he's a chef. He doesn't care about the heat. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, because I would have been like, no, no. Nope. <laughs> doesn't bother me. No. Now, to fill these. We're going to go ahead and take one of our peppers uh -huh. and we just cut the top right off. Just oh, lop the top. And you yeah. scrape no down the seeds. Out. No seeds. Right. Correct. And then from here, we would take this. I hit it with a little bit of olive oil, some salt, and some pepper. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. That looks easy enough. Yep. Yeah. It's almost like a little meatloaf in your pepper. Correct. Part of the reason why we cook the uh, <laughs> meat beforehand, too, is you'll lose some volume um, with the raw meat when it goes in the oven, you'll end up with this little chunk of meatball inside this oh, huge pepper. Wow. Yeah. So you want it all cooked before. So it doesn't expand or anything, so you can just put it as much in as possible mm -hmm. and then, okay, great. So this would then go into a baking dish. Um, I put about five or six into a baking dish and then pour red sauce around the bell pepper. Oh. What's in the red sauce? The red sauce is, uh, we make a San Marzano sauce at Oak and Stone. Ooh. Um, but you could use any bottled red sauce. Oh, like pasta that. sauce. Mike, and of course, because like of the pasta. magic of TV, there yep. is one already. I have some How did that already. happen? And Mike had Before shared with us that I this recipe backwards. was created with first graders from Goshio Elementary and it's going to end up back oh, in the, the school system. So to I've encourage healthy that eating. That looks beautiful. Well, wow. let's do we'll some dishing up here, on. people. That looks phenomenal. Yeah, it does. I love the tops back on, so too. So how officially do you eat that? I mean, how do you dig into <laughs> that and not make a mess? You pick it up like a burger. <laughs> no, you do not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm go sure ahead. you want it to sit upright on the plate, Correct. right? Correct. So we're going to go ahead and take one. All right, well, okay. while Mike does some plating, I'm wow. going to start some thank yous. Jeffrey, that was a very good question on how you eat it, but I think there you should go. just pick it up and take a bite. I'm going to very soon here. <laughs> yes. One. Thank you wow. for joining us. Wow, serving. these are gorgeous. Always a pleasure. This is, I love the food. That's the only reason I come on the show is for the food. <laughs> <laughs> and we <laughs> thought it was for the conversation. I hope you enjoy it. All Thank right. You so much. Go, go visit Oak and Stone. They have the infamous beer wall, a great menu, and also now brunch available as well. And Mike, thanks for working with the kids here yeah. in the county. Yeah. I love it. We love that you're it, getting it everybody involved with that. And, that, that, and that it's healthy. That. Healthy food, it too. Is, it right? is very healthy. All right, everybody, enjoy the rest of your day. Take some time and enjoy the Suncoast view. We're digging in.